It's Heather from Sister Wigs, and if you recall, we recently took this Giselle wig and straightened her out. And I'm going to teach you in this video how to take this hair, which is poker straight, and turn it into a nice perm. So you can tell the difference. Lots of body, lots of curl. Okay, so this is not a tutorial on how to do, you know, beachy waves or big barrel curls. Though this technique can be used to do the exact same thing, you just need a different size of roller. Okay, so you can take the gist of what you're gonna see in this video and make that into, you know, take whatever size curler you want and you can make the beachy waves or you can make the big barrel curls. We're gonna use um, corkscrews to make a very um, kind of wild and fun sort of curl pattern because that's what I tend to like. It's, it reminds me of my natural hair. Um, my, I'm still trying to get over a cold, so please forgive me if my voice is kind of scratchy. So let me show you what I used to achieve this curl pattern that you see here, okay? And I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see that. Very, very curly. This Giselle got a lot shorter in the process. I, I think it's really cute. Um, so this is how I, I achieved this look. First of all, I had, I had to straighten out the hair because it has to be kind of sleek, kind of straight in order to work with it properly in the rollers, okay? And then instead of using traditional rollers, I'm actually using curl formers, which um, most people use for um, curling their hair without heat. We are going to be using heat with these, but they, they won't melt or anything. They're, I like these because they create a more uniform curl pattern. And, you know, these go one direction, these go the other direction. So if you alternate them, it'll give you lots and lots of body and volume, like what we have on this curled side. Now, sorry, I, this is kind of a tricky video for me to make because I want the camera to be close enough that you can see what my hands are doing, which kind of like makes it hard to get the entire wig in focus, but um, you can kind of see what I mean. Like lots and lots of body and volume. It's kind of glam looking. So that's what we're going to be running with here. So in general, the orange ones, um, they curl away from the face. These curl towards the face. So when we're doing this, we're going to want to start with the orange in the front and basically alternate all the way around. Now how you use the curl formers, I'm, I'm going to explain that too in case you decide to use these two. They're a little bit more expensive, but I like them. Like I said before, they, they tend to make more uniform looking curls. They do come in a larger size, so you can make barrel curls. Um, I like these, but you have to be careful using them because um, you could end up pulling the hair really, really a little bit too aggressively if you're not careful and that will lead to you know distorting the hair fiber and making a big mess so you want to you know be be careful when you're doing this but you'll have the same problem with rollers rollers can also get stuck in the hair so for me i make these videos to be easy enough that you can follow them from home so that way um you know it might not be the most professional you know and these might not you know have fancy techniques applied but I'm hoping that it's something you can duplicate on your own. So I don't know if you caught that, but these curl formers, they have like little lippies on the bottom and on the top. And you basically just want to open up the lip with your fingers. And they come with these little hooks and you run the hook inside and all the way through. Okay, you want to make sure this is straight on the rod. Take a comb. And a pro tip here, absolute pro tip, you wanna make sure that most of the hair going into the curl former is of the same length. So that's why I'm breaking this off here because this is a short layer and these this layer is dramatically longer. The reason why you wanna do that is if you're pulling it through the curl former and this layer is shorter than the rest of the hair with it, 
um, you'll have a really hard time pulling it through the curl former um, <clears throat> once it reaches the end of the strand. So because these orange ones go away from the hair, we're going to twist it once away from the, or away from the, the head, um, from the face. So we're going to twist that once away from the face with the hook. We're just going to pull through and it might give you a little bit of resistance. So it's best to pull slow and steady just like that. And if you have to do it twice, because I've, I've had to, all you have to do is gently uncurl it with your finger and pull. Okay, so what we're doing now is we've got a pot of water getting ready to boil. And we've got our wig here, um, or at least the half of it that we're curling, um, since I curled the other half to show you what the end result's gonna look like. Um, we've got this waiting in the sink. It doesn't matter if you use a plastic wig stand or a metallic wig stand, doesn't matter at all, because you're not gonna have high enough heat sustained long enough on, on this to actually melt the plastic. So um, you should be okay either way. Now I've gone ahead and restrained the hair that I've already permed just because I don't want it to straighten out or become flat um, if some of the water gets on it. So we're going to concentrate most of that hot boiling water on this part of the wig. All right, so now our water is boiling. So I'm just going to take this water all right, this is gonna be kind of sideways, but this way at least you can see what I'm doing. So here I'm gonna go ahead and pour the water slowly over the curlers, making sure I get all of them. All right, and there's one I'm missing, so I'm real careful and I just grab that and kind of hoist it over this one so that way I can get some of that water on there. Okay, <clears throat> so I've turned the wig inside out and now I'm going to do the exact same thing to this side. Do my best to concentrate on getting the hair that's in these bottom layers here. Make sure that gets real nice and curly. So I've already started taking out some of these curl formers and you can kind of see the curls here. They, they come out looking like little doll curls. These are not dry. <clears throat> they don't have to be dry. They just have to be cool. It's not the moisture that um, is curling them. It's, it's actually the heat from the boiling water that is curling them. This is actually how they style the wigs at the factory, if you ever wondered how they get various textures and, and um, styles. This is how they style the synthetic hair at the factory. They use uh, wet heat, steam, and boiling water. All right, so I took the curl formers off and you could see perfect, perfect ringlets. These are way better than what you would get out of um, rollers. They're just perfect little spirals. And so now to get this delic delicious texture like we have on this side, all I'm gonna do is take a wide tooth comb to these spirals just to break them up a little bit.
And you don't have to be terribly aggressive with it. We just don't want them to look like, you know, colonial Uncle Sam wig <laughs> curls, um, which can happen really easily if the curls are too perfect. break some of these up with my fingers. It's kind of hard to believe that this used to be a Giselle. I'm going to go ahead and pop this on my head now so you can kind of see the finished product. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Look at that. That's, that's so rad. And it does look like naturally curly hair. I'm gonna brush that real gently there. With my comb. Oh my gosh, that looks like naturally curly hair. I'm so psyched about this. <laughs> well, this is so cute! So yeah, you can do this too. This was a Giselle wig, if you'll recall, in the cherry cobbler color. I didn't cut it, I didn't do anything to it aside from give it a nice perm. And it basically just went choops, and it's kind of rad now. So. You know, I wouldn't necessarily recommend going from this to straight, from this to straight. You know, I definitely don't recommend that. I think that, you know, if you want one to be straight and you want one to be curly, I think you should probably get two. Because once you curl it like this, you should probably just kind of leave it like this. And then the only other thing I would recommend is maybe some MV Renew and Repair. I love this stuff for my synthetics. I'm almost out, as you can probably see. Um, might have to get some more for myself. But, ah, uh, so if you have naturally curly hair and you have been trying really hard to match this kind of texture with no luck whatsoever, if you follow the steps that I showed you in this video, you will get there. These, these curls turn out beautiful looking. They look very natural once you loosen them up a little bit. And man, is this pretty. And on top of that, this is a really high quality wig. Um, it has a lace front, a mono top. It's, it's a really good quality wig. So once you transform it, you know that you're going to have really good cap construction and a wig that's probably going to last months and months and months because you're not going to have to brush it. It's just going to keep this texture and look awesome. I love curly wigs. They're so easy to take care of. So until next time, this has been Heather from sisterwigs.com. And this is the Giselle that I transformed into the, I don't know, let's, let's find a good name for it. Um, I hereby dub this, hell, there aren't any cute wigs named Heather, so I'm just going to name this the Heather Do now. So if you would like a Giselle a la Heather, follow these steps and you'll get there. And check out my website. I sell wigs. I sell Giselles. Um, and lots of accessories and this MV Renew and Repair stuff and, you know. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a fabulous night. Bye-bye.